CrossCon, I have no idea what it is, never heard of it, but I got invited from my college pastor, Cody Bingham, at Southside Baptist Church in Abilene, Texas. It's in Louisville, Kentucky, so let's hit it up. Representing Southside, CrossCon, the SS, going to the CC 2019, baby. <laughs> Where are we stopping at for lunch? We're going to Wendy's. Alright guys, we are in Louisville, Kentucky. We, are, we have just made it to Boston, Massachusetts. We are in yeah, Louisville, man, Kentucky. We're doing a 30 30 hour drive. <laughs> so we are going to get so some to something to eat real quick and then we are headed to the convention, right? Right, that is correct. Alright, so we're going the wrong way. Well, we need to turn around. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, so we just got done with the conference for the day, guys. I uh, got to see Tabidi, John Piper, Richard Chin, Kevin Kevin, DeYoung. Kevin DeYoung, and uh, David Platt today. It's been it's been amazing. So it's, it's I don't know I don't know how do you explain it? how do you explain today, Cody? Um, it's a good intro. It's kind of like I mean it, it didn't. They, they came out swinging, but it wasn't like they didn't bring their left hook yet. You know, like it was good. Okay. Like it was a okay. good day. It was a right solid hook. day. Yeah. But it wasn't Jesus. like their big left okay. hook. Okay, that makes sense. There you have it, guys. We're going to go get some grub, and we'll catch you tomorrow. Guys, it is day two of CrossCon, and uh, we are enjoying it. Um, just got done with worship, and we heard... Kevin DeYoung speak and Zane Pratt. Zane Pratt. Um, tonight we have a concert. Uh, KB is going to be wrapping it up on stage. Okay, so Cross has this thing called breakout sessions, which are very helpful. I didn't know what they were until uh, David Platt explained what they were. And uh, it's just some pastors are hosting different categories of, of something, and you choose you choose three of them, or up to three. And they just talk over a topic uh, that you like and that you may have questions on, and they offer questions, and you get you get them answered, and and with some really great explanation. So, uh, hey, Chance. Yeah. How was how was your uh, your one of your breakouts? Um, it was fantastic. Uh, we learned about why uh, some of our heroes are very important, and why some of them cannot be, and that's why we need to be cautious of who we pick as a hero. And also that biographies are pretty interesting if you pick the right ones. But you got to find the ones that tell the truth about the gospel. The truth! Woo! Guys, we are on our way back from CrossCon or Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, it has been the most amazing trip with a great group of people. Um, but just to get some questions and clarity down, Abby, what did you like best about CrossCon? There were lots of good things about CrossCon that I liked, but one of my favorite things that we did was pray for the unreached people groups every day. Yeah. We got to break up into groups of like two or three and then just pray that God would reach them in an amazing way. And it was just cool to hear, like if you were silent, everyone in the room, like thousands of people just praying for this unreached people group. 
Yeah, that's true. That was very moving. Uh, we do that at Southside, and it's just it's really cool and really inspiring to reach out to or pray for these people that have never heard the gospel. Uh, Emily, how did this? How did CrossCon change you? Um, the one thing I learned this week was that the Lord just gave me a new uh, positive perspective on what it means to be a sender, um, and that I don't have to be discouraged um, by the fact that the Lord hasn't called me overseas, but rather I can take advantage of the opportunities He's given me to disciple other students and disciple um, fellow classmates um, and other college students at Southside and really grow my own personal faith um, and just see where the Lord takes me from there. There's two types of people in mission work. Uh, you have senders and you have goers. Uh, no one is better than the other. It's not like a varsity and then a JV. They're both equal and they're both equally important. So that's that's one of the things we learned in CrossCon. But yeah, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I am going back to my home state, Texas, but I will catch y'all later.